what is going on guys it's crazy pickle and with another skyforge video so today i'm gonna try something new uh, i'm just gonna do the training avatar um, of nihaz and at the same time of course i'm gonna try to talk during my gameplay and see how i'm actually gonna do it so also i'm gonna try to solo it so if i'm not gonna succeed then I'll probably just invite other people and just do as a group. So, um, was a long time. Oops. So, might actually not talk a lot during the gameplay. Maybe at least before the last boss. So, but yeah, we'll see. Um, So yeah, I'll I'll try to do my best to talk as often as I can. So I believe I have to go to the left and right side first. Uh, destroy or whatever I have to do that. Push the button or something. So let's just do the left side first. And then we can go to the right side. Okay, so you need to activate it. So pretty much I can just ignore... Uh, all of these monsters, at least for now. Um, but if you're doing something like that as a group, it's going to be easy for you because two people can just go on the left or right side each, activate it, and then one person just can uh, activate the middle one to open the the gate. So, of course, definitely as a group, it's a little bit faster, much easier. So, well, let's see how. I'm gonna do that. Uh, of course, I'm gonna get some damage. I'm gonna have to... I guess I'm gonna have to deal with these guys. Yeah, they hit pretty hard, so pretty much my... Whoa, my Groove Walker set up as a full GPS, so yeah, they pretty, pre pretty much, yeah, it's good damage. Count that it's also scaled, um, but I don't think it should be that big of a difference. Also depends on your progression as a character. Alright, so what's the next? Alright, so we're just gonna go to the next part of the ship. And... Oh, I like that. So the simple way... Which you can do... You can either use... Revenant and use the C skill pretty much... I would say like from somewhere here launch your C and then teleport far away or simply you can just go between the lasers without any problem so you can just stand here on this little light and none of the lasers would actually hit you or touch you and just have a little patience no rush and just keep moving this way take this light right here I believe oh maybe I was a little bit wrong but hey oh I think I did it wrong way anyway so pretty much something like this Alright, well, this is the actually really fun part. We're just probably gonna have to deal with the guys here that they're not gonna. <laughs> because there is a generator on the left and the right, and what you need to do is you need to bring. 
uh, each generator to like one or two bars or something like that. And then the time you bring first generator uh, to like one or, or two bars of health, so it will put the shield and it will give you the timer. Uh, I think it's like two minutes, I would say. And um, if you're not gonna uh, bring the second uh, generator to the same amount of health that you did as the first during that time, let's say it's two minutes, then first generator will reset to the full health and you have to do that again. So um, I'm, I'm not sure, I don't remember how I actually did that solo one time which it was previous demon invasion and I just don't remember how I did it which class I used I was I definitely wasn't a groove walker uh, let's see what class I was oh I don't even remember Could have been alchemist. Uh, let's let's try alchemist, and we're gonna use jetpack for that. So I'm really hoping that if I will stay um, on my jetpack to bring the first generator to the specific amount of health when it gives me that timer that way with the jetpack it's gonna be much easier for me to dash on the other side and destroy the other generator so uh, let's see should I just focus right on a generator or not I'm just not so sure so it's definitely I'm not going to be able to do much damage. Let's just try it. We can even use the stims if we have to. And I don't want to use all right so I think I think looks like we're good let's just go over here on this side right here and we're just gonna use stims and see how because every th the time you touch the oh, okay so it gives me timer now so I have to go now the thing is I'm not gonna have Teams by that time, or maybe I will, so I'm not so sure. Hopefully, I will have enough time to do that. Oh, wow! Don't tell me that it reset it. Destroy the energy source. I did. This is just doesn't make any sense. What I did wrong, I have no clue. And of course, I do have. Macaron and my alchemist.
which is not gonna help me at all. All right. So well, that was just an epic fail. Um. Oh, I'm gonna just an idiot. So I have to detonate it. Oh, okay. So let's let's just wipe and do this one more time. Yeah, that's what happens when you uh, don't remember what to do, and it was like what. A year, year ago? No, not a year. I mean, it was a long time ago. So, you can do something like that. All right. The good thing that we don't have monsters around anymore, so we don't have to deal with this. Uh, which is gonna switch to. Um, yeah, we can just go for the integrator. Everything looks good here. Maybe we can even use mm, Berserker mode since it's gonna hit multiple targets, I guess. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, really? Okay, so I, I, I forgot that I have to actually detonated okay we got it one and we're gonna have to dash to the other side right away Let's use integrator. Just like just like that. Perfect. Shield yourself and boom. Done. So now we just have to make it to the portal. Hopefully I will make it. <laughs> Those jumpers are crazy guys. Almost there. Almost there. I believe I have to deal with these guys anyway. Yeah, those jumpers are annoying. That That's what I need. Integrator. There you go. Much better. Alright, that's good. So, I believe for this one I can use Grow Walker again. And then I will switch to Alchemist for the next boss. So, I'm just gonna focus on the bosses. Oh, by the way, the cool thing about this weapon, if you go like this, they will you're gonna upgrade this and they're gonna be poisoned. So, deal much more damage, I guess. You can even buff them too. So, something like this. So, I guess for this one, I'm just gonna switch back to Alchemist again. And we're gonna launch the integrator just like so. Nine bars, and we're gonna use stims.
Well, that didn't work quite as I expected, I guess. Oh no, yeah, we're good. So the last part would be actually a little bit interesting. Alright, let's see. So we're just gonna switch back to Crew Walker again. Yeah, we can just use the jetpack anyway. And we're just gonna go and grab every monster here until the end. It's gonna be a lot of enemies to deal with. It's much easier when you have a group, so you have different classes and you can just drop like um, area damage abilities or like a bunch of revenants and think classes like that. So it's gonna be much easier. So let's see how I'm actually gonna do on this part. So I will definitely need energy. It's gonna be tough. Okay, integrator. Okay, let's use integrator again. Okay, one more left, I guess. So after this, it's gonna be portals. And of course, the demon's gonna come out of it. You, I have to uh, disable or destroy the portal and things like that. So I'm still in combat. I need my jetpack. Oh, leave me alone. Perfect. So now I can use my jetpack. So there you go. This is where all the fun will begin. So this is the first portal. In each portal, I believe. gives you 20%. Yep, there you go. probably gonna be much safer to do that in this form as I will have much more health to survive the jumpers alright there is another gonna get some energy back I don't have a shield anymore. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Those jumpers are crazy, guys. Oh, 
come on. So yeah, when I'm focused on a fight or something, as you noticed, I don't talk much. Um, it's different with a raid, since you actually talking to other people. Whoa. Alright, we're just gonna use Integrator to stun those guys gonna use this one that was a, a hell of a hit no 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 you're not gonna kill me So yeah, that guy, Executioner, is insane. Alright, I think I did it. Perfect. So after that, it will be open for you. You just use these two triggers. One, two, and there you go. Whatever he was saying, I didn't understand the word, so alright, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna get the energy first. Maybe not full energy, just a little bit to kinda be on a safe side and for this I'm gonna switch to Nirian's hammer definitely All right, I think 50 energy is fine um, so we can just I guess start the fight Gonna use a green. There you go. So there's always that kind of whatever thing is. Some of them have a shield, some of them doesn't. You have to taunt those purple guys to get rid of the. to break the shield on them that you're gonna be able to kill them. So Nihaz pick up the random target, of course, as you can see here on me, the, he puts the laser beam on it, and as you can see, the little guys dropping whatever purple energy orbs. Each time the energy orb actually hit the circle around me, it explodes, as you can see here, and every person um, in the group has to avoid this purple uh, energy orbs and stay away from the person who got the laser on it so and one of the person actually gonna have like a some kind of a symbol or mark above the head so it means it has the kind of a bomb I would say so we're just gonna have to bring him a little bit faster to the next shield
There you go. So each phase, all right. Now we have the doom phase or dome phase. So this is the safe place, and then when he hits the ground, it will be a wave which bounces everyone who's not inside of that out of their arena. So pretty simple. You just run back and forth to each dome. You have enough time. Usually like two dashes enough to get to the next safe place but if not then you can just maybe use three three dashes total and you should be fine if you do have the divine weapon uh, already you run faster with divine weapon There you go, another shield. So this time you have a mark above your head, so you have to find the right place with the same mark above your head. But if you do run with a team, um, there will be two people connected to each other, and since it's a five man, one person would have, like me, just one person, and other four people will be, well, two people each going to be connected with a in the beginning it could be a red laser so you have to go to the specific place which mark you have above your head and stay in specific distance from your team member to make the laser green that way it will bring that place as you as you saw when I was inside in a green color which means it will protect you from Nihaz's like a lightning attacks this is a spark phase but with pretty much I don't think I need it I'm just gonna break the shield without the god form and when you broke the shield there will be a bunch of adds around so you're just gonna have to be prepared for this I'm just gonna use my fighter form yeah that would be really nice to have the integrator weapon but well I don't have it I'm, I'm sure it will be fine anyway. Since that there will be no spark phase. There you go. This is... Oh, so this is the fear phase, of course. Well, I'm sure I'll be fine. At least I'm hoping so, since that beam pretty long time. Come on. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna start all over again okay I'm gonna have to use my healing again okay I got it to the next shield so now it's a dome phase again It's taking him so long to do that hit. It's 
probably hurts to hit the ground. So pretty simple, as long as you follow the mechanics, um, it's it's very simple. I mean, train an avatar, yes. Uh, the uh, actual avatar is a little bit harder because there's few different things that the actual training avatar doesn't have it, so... Yeah, it's really easy to break the shield this time. Yeah, the Furies, it's really takes time to kill. I'm not sure how long, how much time I have, but I better kill this fury is really fast. Should have attacked him first. Should be nine bars. Dome again. There you go, I got an uh, arrow again. So, like I said before, you if you are connected to somebody, you have to stay between... to make the green... Uh, to laser actually between you and your partner green color, so that way this little spot where you are at is gonna be green too, which will protect you from those lightning thingies that Niha's shooting at you. That way, you're not gonna get any damage and nobody will die and things like that. So, 
really really simple just keep the distance move with the safe spot and you'll be fine so there you go and it's a spark time all right Well, that was easy enough. So we're gonna get a bunch of ads again. So we're gonna use the fighter form for that. Yeah, we're gonna focus on Nihas at least for now. What is it? Okay. I'm not sure how much time I have left before he started getting in rage. And yes, I will definitely gonna make tutorial. Well, I would le I, at least I will try. Depends if I gonna be able to attempt actual avatar. So if I will, I will definitely record that and use some of the the part that training avatar doesn't have it for the tutorial. So. I'll do my best to actually make that happen and I got an arrow again but b b without a footage it's gonna be really hard to make a tutorial for the champion avatar um, well hopefully I can get some pieces from it put them together and make a tutorial so I might use some of the footages from training avatar uh, kind of like a basic I would say part but it's still a little bit different compared to champion so yeah I'll do my best guys to make that happen so if I'm not gonna be able to make that happen then I will definitely let you know in in any video Oh shoot, it's a shield again. Should have saved my divine weapon. I need to break that shield. <laughs> because if I'm not... Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, what the hell did I do? Okay, never mind. So we got two bars left, which means pretty much boss gonna go in rage. Which I need to focus more on the Nihas. Yep. But we should be fine. There you go. 
Well guys, if you like this video so far smash that like button and let me know in the comments what you think because it's the, actually the first time that I did Skyforge gameplay with like I'm playing and I'm actually talking so um, let me know in the comments down below and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and activate notification button you can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook at crazypickle7 and if you'd like you can join my discord server link will be in the description until the next time Take care.